Hi, I'm Judson Wright from Kootenai Backcountry Guides. I'm an ACMG ski guide and professional member of the Canadian Avalanche Association. I'm up here at Whitewater Ski Resort near beautiful Nelson, British Columbia with Backcountry Skiing Canada. And today I'm going to talk to you about saws. Saw 101, what to look for when you're purchasing a saw, what different features you're going to get with saws and specific surrounding saws in the backcountry. So the first model we're going to look at is the saw that often comes in the top of an older style uh, shovel. This really doesn't have many features on it. It's not good for cutting wood. It's not good for doing snow science. It's not really good for much of anything. This saw is uh, basically useless, so we're going to throw it out. And then we're going to move on and we'll just talk about, when we talk about saws here, we're going to talk about size, weight, function, durability, and the features going on in these saws. So the first saw I'm going to talk about is this Black Diamond Snow Saw. And this is an excellent saw. The size is amazing. It slides in really well. You can see it's going to fit in your backpack excellent. It's, it's not too heavy and it's not too light either. Look at the nice size when you make it, when you pull it out. It's a really nice size saw, really great for snow profiles. So this is really a specific saw for snow profiles. It's not great for the other function of saws, which there's two things you're gonna to wanna to think about. One is snow science, and the other one is what if I have to cut down a few trees in order to perform a rescue? Maybe I need to make a little heli landing pad. Maybe I need to cut some trees down to start a fire in the event of an emergency in the backcountry. So what this saw is great for is all the snow science features. Check this out it can turn like this, which means then you can saw down the back of columns quite easily, as well as with this function, you can actually slide it in on the back of a pole. And Black Diamond has made it so that it easily just fits in to a Black Diamond pole. And then they even sell uh, little uh, adapters for other types of poles so that you can use this to make a longer um, saw so that when you're doing extended column tests and whatnot, you can actually have a really long saw. So another thing that this saw has that's great on it is the markings. Generally, I find you really just need the 30 centimeter mark on your saw. This one has 30 and 35. It doesn't have a crystal screen on it, and that's because it's just not big enough. The, the blade isn't big enough for that, so they've sort of sacrificed that function for the size. Durability wise, I find this saw to be quite durable until you start to cut wood with it. So it's one thing to know it is nice and sharp and I have cut trees down, but you need to be careful with a saw like this. If you're holding it all the way back here, this saw now all of a sudden, see the bend that you're going to get in the blade? It's not quite as durable. So I would just really be careful. It's not really meant to cut trees. Yes, it can be done in a pinch, but this isn't that great at that. So that's essentially all the features of this saw. I really love this saw for snow science. Not so into it for cutting down trees, but uh, for a general snow profile saw, I find this one to be top of the line. Next up, we have the G3 bone saw. This is one of the most popular saws. I use this saw for a lot of years. I really love this saw. It's excellent. Um, it has all the markings on it. Um, the size and weight is great. So we've got great size, great weight. Comes with a nice sleeve as well to protect it inside your backpack. Um, the function, so with this, it does work well cutting wood. It's not a specific wood saw, but I find this one is really good at cutting down small trees. You can hold it like this. You can see it's relatively stiff, so it's not really flimsy. And you can take down small trees with this, no problem. Again, you've got all of the markings, 5, 10, 15, 20. Generally, I just like the 30 because that's the size of your columns on your compression tests. But then it also has a little crystal screen. This crystal screen works. I have a dedicated crystal screen, so it's not something that's important to me, but if you are looking to save and not have a crystal screen, it is possible to use this bone saw for that. Okay, another cool function with this 
is for doing extended column tests and if you want to make the saw a little bit longer um, to cut down the back of something you're doing or to cut way into a column you can put the handle of you can use a ski pole in here you can use the handle of a shovel and you just take a couple ski straps and strap it in and it actually works really well you can see there's a couple little holes in here and you just take a ski strap and strap it in so excellent this is super durable you're i had one of these saws for five years and it didn't break on me with everything i was doing i love the bone saw good work g3 on the bone saw keep going the next up i have a backcountry access um, saw as well um what this saw is great size great weight i found the sleeve that it came in to be not very good so what i ended up using was the bone saw sleeve for it um, the size and weight again is excellent. It's not too heavy. It's not too light and for function for cutting down trees This saw is actually amazing. I'm super surprised at how good this is the best saw out of the manufacturers that I've used for cutting down trees um, And then it's got the marks all the way up to 30 centimeters. So that's great It doesn't have a crystal screen on it Super durable saw. Um, I've cut down plenty of trees with this and it has not broke on me. I feel uh, quite confident with this. Um, it doesn't have an extended so there is no feature to make the saw longer. That's fine. You can problem solve around that using, uh, using string and cutting your pits that way. That's generally what I do. But um, you, yeah, great saw here from Backcountry Access. And then finally, Here's another option for you. This is called the Silky Saw. Now there's a whole bunch of different models. What I have is the big boy. And this is the saw I'll bring if I'm going up to a cabin or if I'm going on a backcountry ski trip and I'm going winter camping. This saw mows down wood. It's amazing at cutting trees. It's incredible. You can saw right through logs. It's super durable. It is heavy. The size, look at how big it is. This is heavy. They don't call it the big boy for no reason. It's a solid saw. You're going to have some weight to it. But if you're the type of person who really values being able to cut down a few trees, this is a great saw for that. It doesn't have any of the markings on it. I would put markings on it with marker. And what I found was after I would cut a tree, the marker would just go off. So there maybe somebody has a, a good idea. They could say in the comments on how to keep your marks on these. I haven't found a great way to do it. Um, yeah, function wise, again, you can't make it any longer. It's pretty long to start with, but I do find this can be a little bit of a challenge when you're cutting the back of your block and the fact that it doesn't do what the black diamond saw does, which is fold up. So if you're going to cut the back of a compression test column, it doesn't do that great of a job. And in fact, this long handle gets in the way. So this is pretty specific to cutting down trees, but it can work as a backcountry saw. You can also get a smaller version of these silky saws. I just went with one of these. Anyway, so that's it on Saws 101. What to look for, size, weight, function, durability, and features of different saws. There's a lot of saws out there. Um, if you're in Nelson, you can check out uh, these different models of saws by going down to Rome Shop. And if you want specific uh, information on any of using these in snowpack tests, uh, you can check out uh, KootenyBackCountryGuides.com. That's where I'm from. We're doing uh, courses all winter where we look at snow and teach you how to use these saws in snow profiles. For all other or any backcountry information out there, head on over to BackCountrySkiingCanada.com. They have plenty of reviews and everything to do with the backcountry there.